Jack, and I can't tell you um, how pleased I am to see you and your father here on so many levels, but particularly because you put a little distance between Kelly and me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, no matter where I go, and I'm sure I speak for uh, my colleagues, there, there are two questions that I always get. Um, and the first one is, when you come out of the tape piece, and you're sitting there about to talk to Brian, he's about to cross-examine you. What is he writing? <laughs> Everywhere I go, and I can tell you quite honestly, I don't know. And he's not talking. The second question I get is, is he a good guy? What is he really like? I don't know how many of you have had the good fortune to see the musical Hamilton yet. Uh, it's a terrific show. But following, because it's so successful, I thought that I would look at some of the similarities and parallels between Alexander Hamilton and Brian Gumbel. A great thinker and writer? Check. An outspoken proponent of strong federal government? Check. Spent time in the New England area? Check. And I'm fairly confident in saying that if there were a few people who challenged Bryant to a duel, he wouldn't mind putting them in his sights. <laughs> um, and while Bryant doesn't have his face on any money, he certainly carries his own currency. I will tell you that Bryant believes strongly in getting into the spirit of things, being festive, particularly when we do our year-end show around the holidays. He wants you to put on something that suits the, the time of the year. And he also believes in authenticity. So there's nobody else, please keep this in mind, there's nobody else that I would do this for, okay? So as we go further, and I explain to you a little bit more about who Brian is, uh, let's do this the right way. Yes, this is rap, but no need to be crass. I don't want to harass the man who's got class. I needed a rabbi, a mentor up high, never thinking he'd be a Catholic guy. No lie, if you don't defy, lots of support, he'll supply. He's one of the greats in TV history, though some say a bit of a mystery. So let me do this fast and give you a taste of his past. Raised in the Windy City, not entirely by committee. Father Richard, not a dad who got mad. Break his rule and you played the fool. Mary and Nay, the good mother Ray, and four kids did obey. A gumbo was taught to be humble, not weak but unique, and while at it, develop an amazing physique. By four, he was already smiling, styling, and compiling the duds to be all studs. Back to the judge who didn't often budge, but sure could nudge. So no matter the race, it was off the base, where Brian's quick wit and good looks got him some dates. In making his name, he hardly hesitates. In fact, accelerates, dominates, and eventually relocates. To the West Coast, as a local sports host, quickly seen among the upper boats. But back then, he could only boast, not post. After Hollywood, there was Parenthood, Bradley, Jillian, and a different neighborhood. NYC, the NFL, on NBC, till Freeman said, ah, that's so yesterday, come host the morning on today. When most were barely awake and alive, he was in the studio prepping by five. With fancy shoes, he stepped out to deliver the news. He and Jane have the chemistry to entertain. They are smart and witty, traveling the world to Moscow, South America, and Vatican City. Blessed by the Pope. Now that was dope. All pretense disappears. He tells you there were tears. Soon there was a lady named Katie. I don't know, did they even go to Haiti? But team with Perk, ratings were meteoric and historic. They can be excused for being confused by the dot-com app, but for the Super Bowl, BMW, love that. Allison, can you explain rapping? But when Brian felt sour, he handed it to Lauer. That's what friends are for, sharing the power. And before he could do a chore and be a bore, some said give it a try with public eye. He said yes to CBS. It wasn't shoddy, they want a Peabody. But he'll confess the mess. So it's back to informing in the morning. You know the early 
show, yo. The heck with the shouts. He slams the Boy Scouts. But with GMA and today serving warning, sorry, much love. There's no outperforming. Now in this story, there's so much glory. Perhaps a little jittery. He asks to hand for Hillary and so long misery. Their deal is real, just like his show on HBO. In 20 years, he's shown no fears, no peers, and tackling frontiers. Sure, there have been some steers. Boo hoo, Mr. Tagley boo. But BG disappears? No way. Profiles on stray hands, Zanardi, Jerry West, and Marcus Dixon. Facing a prosecutor who like fiction, but Brian railed against him in the conviction. Now Maris saw the storyboard and said, Oh Lord, how he has soared. He can't be ignored. Of course he should win the award. <laughs> but now I'm running out of time and I'm low on rhyme. BG, he's all fine. We at HBO just hope that he'll resign. So raise your glasses for Gumble. He's not about to stumble, fumble, and you know, never mumble. As your friend, I hope I did not offend with the words I meant. But for this rhyme I'm spitting, we're finally at the end. <laughs>